So, in in light of of these enormous numbers, possibly literally infinite, but yeah. if not, I mean, never mind the other universes. Just think of, you know, hundred billion stars in a galaxy, hundred billion galaxies. In that perspective, now consider the human conceit that we are at the center of the universe, or worse, that we are the reason there is a universe. Now, this is something which uh, is a, a transcultural delusion mm -hmm. for most of human history. An omnipotent, omniscient God could be very busy dealing with life on all those uh, mm -hmm. conceivable abodes of life. Uh, that's, uh, that's certainly right. But uh, that's a could. That's a speculation. And the question is, uh, first of all, what do we mean by God? And secondly, what is the evidence for whichever kind of God you are talking about? So let me just, for clarity, give two end members of a continuum of possibilities of what people mean when they talk about God. Mm -hmm. One end of the continuum is the idea of a uh, large male human with light skin and a long beard that sits in a throne in the sky and tallies the fall of every sparrow, makes the morning glories open, and does micro-intervention in human history. Now, for that God, I know of absolutely no evidence. No. I don't say no. Maybe the throne is where no one's looked. But there is no evidence for such a God, and it seems such a patent reflection of our own hopes and fears and the kinds of, of uh, political systems, I'm talking about kings, that we, we used to have. At the other end of the spectrum is the kind of God that uh, Einstein talked about, or Benedict Spinoza, which is very close to the sum total of the laws of nature. Now, there are laws of nature. It would be foolish to deny it. And what's more, it needn't have been this way. The laws of nature that apply here apply 10 billion light years away, the same laws of gravity, the same laws of quantum mechanics. So there certainly are universal laws of nature. If that's what you mean by God, then of course God exists. Now this latter kind of God is uh, a little difficult to pray to. I wish now to pray to the Newtonian gravitational constant. It's not satisfying. The order that, uh, that those laws of nature yeah. induce in the universe is, is magnificent, elegant, subtle. So this issue of, of, of God, many people are quite happy to put the question, do you believe in God, and then take a yes or no answer, mm -hmm. you've learned absolutely nothing. The question is, what kind of God is being discussed? 